as Jimmy mentioned, uh, Nixon actually started this uh, 42 years ago with uh, signing the National Act on Cancer, and he actually declared that uh, in 2015 we will have conquered cancer, and we're unfortunately far away from this. Um, it's an epidemic, and I wonder there are must be reasons why we have not come further. And I think uh, one of the big reasons, if not the main reason, is uh, our environment. Look at the air, the water, the soil. Look at the food. Thank you for this wonderful dinner. Organic. So no pesticides in that. Um, what about uh, electromagnetic radiation? We really know little about that drugs. So I think compared to where we were 40 years ago, we do live in a more toxic environment. So this needs to be addressed. Um, furthermore, also, I think oncology has to step out of the box of addressing the physical only with chemotherapy, radiation, and surgery. There are some very promising steps toward opening up, like with uh, immunotherapy, with drugs that destroy or prevent blood vessels from going to the tumor, with drugs that specifically target a tumor, or with stem cell therapy. But these are the beginning, and they're still physical. And I think. Like every disease, every symptom, including cancer, is the last manifestation of a process that went wrong. And I believe, and I'm a physician, I'm a holistic physician, that the source of this ultimate manifestation is not in the physical. It can be genetics, but who has ever heard of epigenetics? This is a new science that is very promising and is very empowering. If you Google epigenetics, you will find a lot of hits. And I would like you to look at this because there are studies that show that through our lifestyle changes, we can influence our genes. Very empowering. So. We consist, obviously, of a physical body. Everybody can approve of that. We also consist of an energy body that keeps this physical body alive and healthy, called chi, called vital force, called etheric, called prana. As a matter of fact, you can go anywhere in the world and go to any medical modality that is offered and traditional. All of these modalities, they have a name for that energy that keeps us alive and healthy, except Western medicine, because Western medicine is solely based on physical findings. So I think we really need to look at this vital force, and we can influence it by lifestyle changes by energy medicine, like homeopathy, acupuncture, and so on. Besides that energy body, we also have, obviously, an emotional part in us, and that needs to be addressed, too, for, with stress management, and I mean this in the, in the biggest sense. And then we also have a spiritual aspect, and that needs to be addressed, too, with meditation, with, with prayer, and. What's the name of this organization again? <laughs> Believe Big. So I really think that the, that's one aspect, to look at the whole human being, but then also to individualize the approach. And now medicine is oriented toward disease. And I really think in the future it should be a human-centered, individualized approach. Of course, when somebody comes to me, I want to know the diagnosis. 
But then my next question is, what else? And by treating the whole person, I think we have more long-term results, positive long-term results, than just treating the physical. This mistletoe is really designed to do this because there are seven distinct types of mistletoe and each of them come in different strengths. So I can prescribe mistletoe based on the gender, based on the tumor, the type of tumor, the stage of tumor, and also based on what the person is going through, chemotherapy, radiation, surgery. So that's a step in the right direction. And this study that will be done really puts mistletoe on the map here. And I'm convinced that we will have a good positive result so that oncology cannot ignore mistletoe anymore. There's something else that is, is historic, actually, and I'm so glad you can be part of this history. Just imagine one of the top-rated medical research centers in the world chooses to do a study on a botanical substance. That is historic. Not only that. <laughs> I'm just starting. <laughs> Not only that, but it's a botanical substance for cancer. Not only that, it was initiated by a patient, not by big chemo, or by an article in the New England Journal of Medicine by a patient. Not only that, actually the oncologist listened to the patient. <laughs> and the oncologist was open enough to say, what's going on here? And curious enough, like a true scientist. Not only that, there is no money for a botanical trial. It's a grassroots organization that is paying for this. So there are all these streams convert. And I really think this is historic in many, many ways. And I'm so honored to be part of this history. And at this point, I really want to take the opportunity to, to thank especially Ivelis Page and also Dr. Diaz, and especially all of you who are in this room to contribute to this historic event. Thank you so much, and God bless us all.